Welcome. Uh, this is Zane Glur, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and today is my two-week update for this drone flight. The first thing I think we should do is just en enjoy the uh, picturesque beauty of the surrounding Nevada mountains with light snowfall the night before, um, before this drone flight. And um, one of the things to point out is this, the size of the clearing where the warehouse on wheels used to be and the Tesla semi high volume production facility is going to be built is in the foreground and if you contrast that to the background that we just saw it's a, a lot of space um, and it doesn't have the constraint of having to deal with the existing um, factory. This is the far north of end of the building and there's two things I want to do in today's video. The first thing is just to look at these different cuts and where they attach to the uh, Milan Road um, infrastructure. That very first one is almost certainly sewage connection. By the way, there's a brand, brand new uh, pipes and were laid about a year ago and it was always curious to me why they came up Milan Avenue here instead of going straight on Electric Avenue into the Gigafactory. It makes a sh it makes a left turn. The new the new um, pipes that were laid made a left turn at Milan and came up. I mean, and, and came up past the semi prototype facility um, up up. up along the north end of this Tesla property and now we, we kind of know why. Makes me wonder if Tesla didn't plan on doing this a long time ago. What came first? Uh, this particular cut is for storm drainage and it doesn't look to me like it's finished because if you look closely and we'll get a zoom here in a second that dr storm drain pipe um, doesn't quite make it all the way to the wash so they'll probably put in some sort of uh, additional structure there to channel the water into the wash. Here's a third connection that was been made and you can see by the brand new color of the asphalt where they cut into that um, fairly new pipe right there and um, not exactly sure what this one what this cut is for. It could be one of these that one there I'm not sure but I, I think it could be another sewage um, as we continue north, this next cut is um, fiber optic cable, I'm almost sure. You, uh, once again, you can see the dark black patch where they cut into the um, pipe that runs along the uh, south end of Milan. And based on the box that we're looking at right there to the left of the new asphalt, that looks to me to be fiber optic. And then this last and then electricity rather than coming through there is no doubt going to be supplied by these power lines and I'm not sure but I think these power lines are fairly new I'll try to look back on some or maybe one of the viewers can look back at some of my previous coverage and see if those were there this is the final cut and is the brand new um, uh, access road and in addition to the box culverts that were in in, in installed within the last few weeks they've they're doing some additional concrete work on both ends to um, solidify that structure and this will be a new entrance and exit into uh, Giga Giga Nevada specifically for the um, semi um, plant production facility and for the the mysterious other thing which could be cattle um, batteries uh, con uh, production. This is back over at the, um, that little black box was back over at the north end. And so now we're going to take a higher, uh, more uh, wide angle view of the entire facility as opposed to that little walk along the um, road where I was mostly interested in seeing what was going on with those cuts that they had put in and their look like they're largely done with those. Up above along that line where that 
um, excavator is there is a, um, a bunch of manhole covers or um, storm drain evidence of what looks to me like storm drain um, pipes going into the storm drains that they that they installed to deal with the water management at the site and uh, the second thing I want to talk about more of a high level issue is if you think back at the pace of construction when Gigafactory Texas was first being built and the drone coverage provided by Joe Tegmeyer I don't see the same level of um, speed if I remember right and, I, and maybe some of you guys can comment on whether or not my recollection is that they were working six to seven days a week at Giga Texas and uh, as evidenced by the fact that the drone coverage was five days a week and you could see progress from day to day here my drone coverage to date has been two weeks apart and it's pretty hard to discern the progress I mean there is progress but it's it's, it's not the pace doesn't seem to be as urgent as um, it was for Giga Texas and I would love to hear what your thoughts are on that maybe it'll accelerate now the drone is coming back to the um, to my plaid model s drone support vehicle and um, pretty much that's the uh, end of today's coverage I'll leave you with another picturesque view of the um, Giga Nevada facility as it was. Quiero yo hacerte el amor.